Welcome to another video on Power Query. In Excel Magic Trick video number 1410, Mike has shown us various methods through which we can extract end of month balance from this particular list over here. He has used various formulas like sum ifs and max ifs, sum ifs and aggregate, sum ifs and vlookup and then some array formulas. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create the identical summary using Power Query. So this is the summary which I have loaded from my Power Query. Let me double click this and go to the Power Query window. As a first step, I started loading the data into Power Query. Second step was automatically applied by Power Query to identify the appropriate data types in columns. Third step, I just grouped this individual rows for the dates and took the sum of this balance. So you can see in this grouped rows over here, it's just a date and sum of balance sum and balance I have taken up. Then I inserted the end of month for each of this row. So which is being automatically calculated by Power Query. Then I identified the difference between the original date and end of month. So it calculated the difference over here. Then as a next step, I grouped it on the based on the end of month and tried to identify the minimum difference between the end of month and the original date over here and I also selected the all rows. So all rows are being applied as a table over here. I just expanded that in a next step. So that original date sum of balance which we have calculated in this particular step is being populated over here. And the original date of difference over here. Now I will be finding whether minimum difference for each of the rows and the original date difference is same or not. So that it will select only this particular row like Mike has explained in his video. So I have just used the conditional column. You can see end of day minimum day difference whether it is equal to date difference then give me yes otherwise no. So it has given me yes and no. I filtered out all the rows wherever the yes was required was applied and I have removed in a next step all other columns which were not required. So you can see only the end of month and sum of balance has been applied over here and I loaded back this to a power query. So this was the identical summary which you can create using Power Query. If you are really interested to learn more about Power Query, then you can enroll into my Power Query course at Udemy. This is almost 4.5 hours of video training. It is a full lifetime access you will be getting it. And all the updates in Power Query and the new videos you will be getting free of cost. You don't have to pay anything extra in future. So enroll it immediately as I have given a coupon code specially for you and this is applicable only for limited time period. So enroll fast. Thanks a lot guys. See you in next video.